Hello, welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to see how to attach the objects to the curves. And first, let's uh, create a geometry node. So just geometry. And just go inside. So first, we will see how to draw a curve in Houdini. So in order to draw a curve, we need to take an curve bezier. So just click on this. And now in order to start drawing the curve, just we can select the node and just we can press enter. And now you can see here we got some shortcuts. So to insert the point, just uh, we need to left click here. So now if you left click, it will create a points. And if you left click, hold and drag, it will create a busier points. So if you want to create a like linear point, just you can only left click. And if you want to create a curve, just we need to hold left click and drag so that we can able to create the curve. And suppose if you want to end the curve, just uh, we can press enter so that it will end the curve here. So if you want to draw another curve, just we can left click and we can create another curve here. For timing, we'll not use this curves to attach the geometry. Uh, so we'll create a default curves, which is uh, available in Houdini. So just I will delete this. Uh, so you can select this and just you can delete. And now we will create a helix curve. Uh, so in order to create, just we can press tab and we can use this helix. Uh, so you can click click enter. And now see it has been created the curve. And now what the thing is here, there are some settings. Uh, so here you can change the height of the curve. And if you want to like decrease the number of turns, you can decrease. And if you want to increase, you can increase the number of turns. And here we can use the radius, uh, start radius. The radius scale here so it's up to you uh so let's i will set uh, set the height to uh, up to here and if you want to increase you can increase the radius of this and also i will decrease number of turns uh let's i will put up to like 1.0 something just i will go to the camera tool okay and now suppose if you want to attach any objects to this curve first we need to create an object like we'll create any test object so let's say i will click click on tab and type test so let's say we'll create the pig head so just left click and now this is a pig head here and now what the thing is this geometry has to attach to this curve here so in order to do that we need to take another node uh, so just we need to take an copy to point so just you have to select this and now just we need to connect the geometry see here you can if you hover the mouse here it is asking for the geometry and it is asking for the target points so the target points are nothing but the helix and the geometry is nothing but the geometry to copy. So just we need to connect this geometry here and we will connect this here. And now just we will set the display flag to this. And see now the geometry has been attached to the curve and it has been created the duplicates. It depends on the length of the curve. And also if you want to uh, increase the distance between these objects, uh, we can increase the size of this helix here. So if you go to the helix and uh, if you go down here, you can see there is an option like transform. So in transform, you can increase so that now see. So it's up to you according to your requirement. Uh, we can use this uh, scale option in the helix and here now what the thing is if you observe all the duplicates are facing towards the same direction. Here you can see uh, when you observe this nose, now all the models are facing towards the one direction here. So now what we want is uh, it has to orient along the directions of the curve. For example, suppose now the curve is in this direction. So each and every model has to rotate according to the direction of this curve here. So we need to correct the orientation of these models here. And now first uh, we will select this. So suppose if you enable these points, if you middle mouse click on this helix here. So here you can see there is an information only based on the positions. We don't have any information for the orientations. So what the thing is now we need to create the orientation for this curve here so that the points will face towards the directions of the curve. So in order to do that, uh, we can take another node called orientation along the curve. So we need to take this node orientation along the curve and just we need to connect in between here. And now see if you click on this here and also uh, see uh, below this points option, there is an option. Uh, there is an another thing like display normals. So if you see now, now the points are facing towards the curve here uh, means like see, uh, for example, if I disconnect this thing, and now if you display flag and even though if you enable this display normals 
still you can able to see there is no direction is showing for this point here. So now whenever we connect this orient joints, orient curve and display flag and see now the direction of these points are facing towards the curve. So now I will hide this. Uh, so just uh, hide this thing. And now I will set the display flag uh, for this copy to points. Uh, so if you click on this, so see now, now the model is facing towards the directions of the curve. So it has been oriented properly to the direction of this curve here. Now only the thing is the models are in the reverse direction. And now in order to do that, uh, we can go up to this option here. Uh, we have to select this orienting curve. And here uh, in this, there is an option like target up to vector. Here we have to select this Y axis. And now the models has been oriented properly towards the curve here. And in case still, if you want to rotate this object, uh, we can select this orient along the curve. And here there is an option called additional rotation. So we have to open this additional rotation. And here we can uh, select this option like apply roll or twist here. So here, if you see, now we can able to rotate the model. So here we can have the twist here. So if you want to make a twist, we can use this twist option. And here there is an option like partial twist. And also you like there is an op option called like apply yaw. So just we can rotate this object C. Now we can able to rotate this and here. So we can use these values. So if you want to rotate in other axis, you can uh, use this option like apply pitch. Uh, so see now it is rotating in another axis. So if you use this yaw, it will rotate in. Uh, so most it is rotating in Y axis. And if you use pitch and it is rotating in X axis. And now what the thing is here, we are getting huge amount of geometries, uh, which is overlapping. Suppose if you want to decrease the number of geometries, first what the thing is, we need to decrease the number of points on this curve here. So if you select this helix now, and if you uh, like display flag on this, and if you show this, now see we have a lot more points. Now suppose in case if you want to decrease this number of curves, for this we have to take an another node called resample. Uh, so for example, just I can press tab. So we can take this resample and just we need to connect here and see now here we can go to this option like there is an option like maximum segments. So if you increase if you enable this now see here you can increase and decrease this. So uh, actually we have to uh, set this flag. Uh, so now you can see. We can increase the length of the curve here. And we can increase number of segments. See, so we can increase the number of segments and decrease it, and we can use this length so that uh, we can increase and decrease the length of the curve too by using this option. So now, see if you set this display flag, and now we got this number of copies. I just we can deselect this. And now another thing is, see, whenever you increase this number of points, so it will increase number of geometries too, and it will take a load on the system. Uh, so for example, see, suppose if I increase more uh, segments, let's say up to here. Now what the thing is, see here, uh, whenever I middle most click on this copy to points, here you can see there are 72,000 polygons. That means it's a huge amount of, uh, count here so what the thing is we need to decrease this poly count so we have an option in this copy to points so if you select this copy to points and there is an option called pack and instance so what it will do is uh, it will create only one geometry and the remaining everything will be created as an instance so it will not take that much of load see for example now before enabling this if i middle mouse click on this we have 72000 polygons and now if I select this copy two points and if I click on this pack and instance, so see now everything, all the duplicates has been converted into instance, which will decrease the number of geometry. So now if you middle mouse click and see, now here we have only 25 packed geometries. So if you disable, you can see we have polygons of 72,000. And now if you select, enable and everything will be packed and it will decrease the geometry and so we can work smoother and also it will decrease the size too. Uh, for example, see if I disable this and you can see there is an like the memory is like 10 MB. And now if you 
enable this pack and instance. Now here you can see the size is 66 KB. So almost it has been decreased to 10 MB. And in case, uh, suppose if you want to edit this, any one of this geometry here, because we cannot see the points of this thing. See, if I enable these points, we cannot see. So what the thing is like, uh, if you want to unpack this, uh, either we can disable this option and, and also there is an another node called unpack. So if you select this and if you connect this unpack, now if you set the display flag again, you got this geometry and if you enable the points, now you can see it has been enabled the points too. So for time being, I will delete this and also just we can enable this pack and instance. And suppose if you want to animate this geometry along with this curve. So now in order to do that, uh, we need to take a node called car. So here you can see there is an option called car. So we have to select this and just we need to connect here in between the orient curve and the copy to points. And just I will set the display flag to this. And now here you can see there is an option like first view. So see, we can now trim the curve. So suppose if you want another direction, we can enable this a second view and we can use this. So it's up to you uh, now. So for time being, I will select this first view and see now we can able to trim this curve. And now you can see if I display flag on this thing. And now if I use this, see, now it is just going to disable the models from the back side. Now what the thing is, I want to convert it into single geometry so that the single geometry will move around this curve so that we can animate the single geometry around this curve here. So what the thing is in curve here we have there is an option called extract. So now see when I click on this extract now it has been converted into single geometry. See for example if I enable this so see now we have only one point. Now in order to see the point we can see there is an option like display points. So now we got only the single point. So based on that single point now it has been created this geometry. So now see if you use this thing now we can able to animate around this curve here and the orientation is not proper. Uh, so for example, if I go to this orient. So I think we have to disable this pitch options and apply row. Just I will disable this and now uh, if you see like if you select this curve. So now it's uh, moving properly. Now uh, we'll see how to animate uh, this object around this curve here. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to come to this curve and now here we have to set the timeline. Uh, so let's say we have we, if you want to start this uh, from the first frame, we can set the timeline to the first. And now what the thing is in this curve, we need to animate this first view. So what the thing is, see if you change this value, now it is going to change the positions of this model. So now in order to turn on the animation, just we need to alt left click on this so that it will turn on the animation. And now it has been created a keyframe on this first frame. So now what the thing is just uh, you can decide the time. Uh, so the, let's say suppose if I want to complete the animation in like uh, 72 frames or something, just we need to go to this timeline and now we need to change the value of this first view. Now see again we need to set a keyframe here. So again, I will alt left click. So now see it has been set the keyframe. So just we need to click on play so that it will make an animation. So the animation is a little bit faster in order to play this animation uh, slower like in real time. Uh, so here you can see there is an option real time toggle. So just if you enable this now you can see if I click on play. So now it is animating in the real time. So in this way we can attach the models to the curve and we can make an animation. So that's it for this video. See you in the next lesson.